Hi everyone, let's begin CFA with the use of Strata software. So let me open my file. Uh, one file I am opening that is ev.dta, same file I am going to use. So now right hand side you can see all variables are visible, ec1, ec2, ec3 and so on. Right. So what we have to do today in this video, we are going to do how to conduct CFA with the use of this Strata software. So let me click here statistics and after statistics I will go to structure equation modeling and model building and estimation. I had clicked here and now what we have to do we can increase this size or decrease this size. Let's say I want zoom is only 100% we can do and let's say I need bigger size 200 and as well as I want to increase this canvas up to Let's say I have done 8. So now it is the bigger size. So what I have to do, let's say, and I would increase little bit more, 300, it's much, much higher size. So 200, okay, it's fine. And now what we have to do, here is I want to conduct CFA. So for this CFA, what I will do, let me total constructs, let's say I have five, four constructs. So I will draw this picture. This one is the first construct. Uh, first construct, then second construct, third construct and fourth construct. All four constructs and now what I will do, I will create all these items also. One item, second and third. Right. And what we have to do, we will do the opposite side because otherwise there would be lots of crowding. These three for this and further for this one, three items for this construct now and for this, here is for the last one, there are three items. Correct. And now we will connect with the help of this arrow. Right. So these are the arrows would connect all three items. Right. For this construct, these are three items. Correct. And here is three items. This is just an example. And these three items, how we are going to perform CF. Right. So this one is we have done and now we would interconnect all these items. This one, this one and this one. Right. And now you can see these are invisible. Let me check covariance connections covariance. And that would not be white. It is, I need whatever color you want. So you can choose, let's say, I would like to light green. So, okay. And now you can see these are light green. Correct. So all these are correlated. And uh, finally, what we have to do, I would open my file. I will open my file here. Right, and uh, click here. So I will give this name as our first one is my is uh, EC. EC, right. So I had given EC. This construct name is EC. This one I am giving GP. I had given, okay. And this construct name, let's say I am giving PEV and let's say which is just a hypothetical. So you would apply on your data, but procedure is same. P, let's say I'm giving this uh, P E V. Let's say these are my four constructs. And what I will do, I will fit all the items right here. And uh, when I'm going to click here, so variables I'm, I would select, this is EC1, okay. And this item is EC2, correct. Further is EC3, right. 
all these items I had established and now PV, this one is PV1 and this one is PV2 and last one is PV3. Okay. And uh, let's say this one is, I would say GP1. Okay. GP2. Press this and GP3. Because my data file is open, so automatically it will take all the data set. And PEV, I would give it to PEV1. Perfect. And PV2. All right. And PV3. Not PV2, PV3. Not PV3. Perfect. And now what we have to do all this, uh, this one is the correlation what, and diagram is uh, perfect. Now I have to estimate. When we will, let me just check, let me go to estimate and this one is the model maximum likelihood. This is by default and we have to run and you have to just press, okay, all the values are here, but these are unstandardized values and right side you can see what is the intercept value and standard intercept norm. I want simply I will go to estimates we will go there and in reports and just click here display standardized coefficient and values okay press okay and now you can see all the values are standardized values and now in CFA you can see this one is the perfect it should be less than 0.5 and that is 0.38 it should also less than 0.5 or maximum 0.6 so all are under control and this one should be more than 0.7, right? So this one 0 0.79, 0 0.88, 0 0.69, 0 0.69, 0 0.78, 0 0.66, 0 0.76. This one is 0 0.18, 0 0.84, 0 0.78, 0 0.87, 0 0.87 and something is here 0 0.88 I think, right? That is overlapped. So no problem. So this is our CFA. And finally, we want to see all these results. Right, so detailed results when we will, you can see all the detailed results are in the output table, right. Now, suppose we want to go for this statistics and we will click here post estimation and specific diagnostics and overall goodness of fit, right. And uh, what I will do, simply click here and I need right let's say goodness of it and press ok so this is the goodness of it now we can see 284 this is the chi square right 284.15 that is and you can see this one is it is reflecting over here and further is suppose further we will go for this post estimation and let's say you want to go for only equation level goodness of fit so simply you can press here and sorry cancel not cancel and uh, we will go there post estimation specification for the equation level fit and right and uh, that is we have uh, selected right and press ok and this one is the equation this one is the um, analysis would be reflecting here and further is I think uh, I think I have done each and everything here and uh, in the overall let me check what other options are available all of the above we require let's say yes we have got all the above here is RNCA value also you can see right likelihood ratio you can find out rnca is 0 0.11 right it should uh, not be more than 0 0.08 but just a little bit on the higher side so there is the some 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 variables you can drop and some items you can add or drop whatever is you can do that so in the in in that way this is the how we can run run uh, this one is uh, this particular diagram and you can what you can do this one is 
confirmatory factor analysis and you can copy. Suppose this diagram I want to record, so simply click here and this diagram is copied and you can paste on any Word document, right? So I hope this video would be, I just want to show you where we can put it. Let me open, I think I had opened. Mm, not download, just in the documents and that is this data. And there is the one word document yesterday, in the yesterday video I had used structure equation modeling. And this is the, there is no word document, no problem. What we can do, we have to open a one new word document and uh, we can give them CFA, that would be name. And after that, simply we will paste here this particular. So now you can see, you can report the CFA diagram in your, uh, in your PhD thesis or in your research article. And what we have to do, suppose these all results you require to report there. So simply you can take it as a copy as a picture or any other method, right? Simply you can paste it. And after that, you can say all the results is also usable. So all these things would be helpful. So I hope uh, this video would be helpful to you and you can just sit in the similar manner, you can run your analysis. So uh, thank you and stay tuned, keep watching.